Welcome back to BT Vancouver. It is 818 on this Friday morning. Thanks for joining us. A recent report by UNICEF shows Canada ranks 30th out of 38 wealthy countries when it comes to the well-being of children. And this data was gathered before the COVID-19 pandemic. Joining us now is the president and CEO of UNICEF, David Morley. Good morning, David. Thanks for joining us. Thanks very much, Mary. So this is very concerning. We are number 30 on a world stage. What are we doing wrong? Well, we've, I think we've allowed things to slip for Canada's children. We're not making the same investments in childhood that the countries who are at the top of the list are making. They put in about 3% of their national income into children we put less than 2%. And that's something that makes a big difference. I think we figure we're a wealthy country. Surely that's enough. We're one of the wealthiest countries in the world. But it's not translating for our kids because we're not investing enough. You got to keep investing. And which countries are doing the best on this list? It's the countries that we hear of as best places to grow up. Denmark, Norway, the Netherlands. They're making smart investments and we can learn from them. They don't have our resources, but we can learn from them. And when we're talking about the well-being of children, you mean mental health, physical health, access to education. Which areas have dramatically worsened since you last collected this data? We're seeing that the mental health of children and young people is getting worse through indicators like being bullied, a sense of not belonging. We also know it comes from the growing income inequality that we see here in Canada, so that the poorest kids are feeling left out and the middle class kids are anxious because they're afraid that they might fall, that their, their own economic security isn't there. So that's the beginning of it, is income inequality. And it translates into, into not as much child well-being as we want for our kids. And this data, of course, was collected before the COVID-19 pandemic, and we know mental health has just worsened uh, since March. So, David, what are some policies that we can implement right now? What are three things or two or three things that you can hone in on that we can start doing right now to improve the, the lives of our children? We can do what the, the leading countries are doing. We can invest more in affordable daycare so that parents don't have to worry about that for their kids. We can invest more in income support for the poorest families. And it's going to take a bit of time, but we can invest more in better parental leave. These family-friendly policies, they help lay the foundations. And the daycare is going to help as as we all try to figure out how our kids are going to go back to school. It's going to be extra support around the schools as well. All right, David, thank you so much for joining us this morning. It was great to have you. Thanks very much, Mary. All right.